Next Saturday, the nation will pause and reflect on the 20th anniversary of the attacks on 9-11. Nearly 3,000 people were killed that day when hijacked, hijacked airlines crashed into the World Trade Center towers in New York City, the Pentagon in Washington, and a field in rural Pennsylvania. And here in Denver, a special ceremony at Empower Field this evening paid tribute to the heroes of that day. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey talked to one man who was among the first on scene at the World Trade Center and another who says that that bravery inspired him to become a first responder. I was in the firehouse um, watching the second plane hit the second tower. 20 years ago, Brian Hansen was in one of the first groups to respond to the 9-11 disaster. It's something you'll never forget. A firefighter, he risked his life with a first responder group from Colorado to save others. I can remember the day I went out there. Um, it, I'll never forget it. And every year it comes up, it's, it's you remember your brothers and sisters. 20 years later, hundreds of his brothers and sisters from the 9-11 rescue missions gathered at Empower Field to remember and honor those who died. I went into this career uh, in January of 2002. I'm Corporal Hong with the Colorado State Patrol. And others too, those who joined service careers after the attacks. I had some friends that were joining the State Patrol that had got on just before me that were going in through 9-11 and that sealed the deal for me that I really wanted to give back. Dedicating their lives and honored by Colorado's leaders tonight. In this tumultuous and difficult time that we've all faced in different ways, thank you for recognizing the importance of coming together for commemoration. During these times. We need that unity today as we face cowardly attacks on our troops and innocent civilians. With our own crises to commemorate today. The pandemic has brought devastation, loss, over 7,000 of our fellow Coloradans who are no longer here. Frontline heroes who gave their lives even to this day. I know at times the sadness can seem overwhelming, but let us also recognize our unity, our humanity. Gathering put on by the Meisel Institute, setting a reminder. It's very sombering in a way, but it is also very, very celebratory in a way. To remember and thank heroes who often go unnoticed until they're needed most. And shaking hands and hugging and, and uh, you know, just moving forward 20 years later. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.